The other factor in all this that everybody at home listening should like be well aware of is that, um, and Keith's talked about this a lot, is that there's a lot of narrative on Wall Street. So meaning like when the stocks are going up, maybe they're going up for cyclical reasons, right? Because we're getting, we have easy comparisons and people are beating easy comparisons because they guided low, whatever. Stocks are going up. What happens? Narrative comes in to justify the next purchase which is usually them selling to you, but like, okay, for a little while, the institutional investors use that for their own narrative. So they can go to their portfolio managers or portfolio manager can go to their LPs and their limited partners and say, Hey, we are long this great thematic, blah, blah, blah. It's this. And so for example, there are already stocks in my universe in software who people are championing as AI winners uh, because the, that stock was up 30% on earnings uh, recently, uh, I'm not going to name the stock right this second. Um, and and guess what? It it was not up 30 percent because, like Nvidia, their business went from seven billion revenue to 11 billion revenue. It's up 30 percent because they had guided to a sequential decline in revenue, which they had never, ever, ever, ever had before. So they guided, you know, with a lot of sand in their guidance, and then they put up the exact same small number of revenue increment that they always do, and they had an easy comparison on billings, and so the stock rallied thirty percent. It was a good Wall Street strategy. The company managed Wall Street. When the analysts on the call tried to get that company to admit that it was an AI beneficiary, the CEO and the CFO were like, "Cool your horses!" Like, no, like this isn't. We that's and and I can walk you through like how that business is not structured. To win today from AI, maybe over the next 20 years, there will be some impact to them that is positive, like a long tail duration company. But people are justifying buying more today after it's up 30% uh, because it's an AI winner. It is not an AI winner. It is a savvy company that managed the street and guidance and sentiment very well. So there's a lot of narrative out there also, and people will chase narrative right over an AI top to Keith's point sometime, you know, whatever in the next few months, probably. And suddenly there'll be a gaping maw underneath. So just keep keep yeah, that in yeah. mind is that no matter how bullish, the long-term view, the five-year view, the mid-cycle view, we got to keep in mind the pace of the quarters, the pace of the comparisons, the pace of the easy comps, the difficult comps, the time where people are going to miss and not have explanations. And then there's going to be a new narrative. I'm not sure what it is. What's going to be? Maybe it's going to be AI losers. <laughs> I don't know. No, that's going to be, uh, I'll, I'll give that a subtitle. It'll be the oh f- narrative. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation. Or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.